Welcome back to DIY with Dave. They say that one of the rules of woodworking is that you can never have too many clamps. That is definitely true, and I don't have enough clamps. In fact, in one of my last woodworking projects, my Lego table build, I didn't have clamps that were long enough to actually glue the table up. So I came up with a solution, and I want to show you what that is. So stick around for the rest of the video to see what I did to solve my problem. <music> So a few weeks back, I built this Lego table, and as I was gluing up the sides, I realized that I had a problem. I didn't have a clamp that was long enough to actually clamp the long end of the table. And um, so that's a problem as you're trying to glue something up. You need to put enough clamping pressure for the glue to, to adhere and stick everything together. So I put some thought into how I was going to solve it, and um, I decided I would use ratchet straps. Specifically, I remembered um, this, this clamp right here, which this is actually made for like picture frames. You take, take like uh, a picture frame, it has these four corners, one in the, the center of the bottom, essentially, you know, a strap, you then tighten and it brings all those corners together. And um, so I thought, you know, I could create something like that with a ratchet strap to be able to kind of put in all my corners, put enough pressure on the workpiece that it would actually hold together. And so that's what I built here. Let me show you how I did it. The first thing I did was to cut out some circles from some scrap that I had lying around. I'm gonna saw out a quarter of these circles to create some corner pieces similar to the picture frame clamp. After prepping and cutting my corner pieces, I'm gluing up the sides of my table and will now start putting on the ratchet straps together with those corner pieces in order to apply the clamping pressure that I need. This part actually proved to be pretty challenging. Uh, and the problem was is that there was nothing to hold it together. So it was really hard to kind of have each corner in place as I was trying to tighten it. So it really helped to have another person. I, another challenge that I had is that as I tightened that ratchet strap, there was a lot of pressure. And these pieces of poplar were not strong enough in some cases. In fact, I had a few of these just break in half and go flying. Uh, so if I were to do it again, I would definitely use a much stronger wood. I thought that by using these corner pieces, it would really do two things. The first, I thought it would keep the ratchet straps away from the glue. Uh, I was afraid of gluing the straps to the workpiece. And then also, I thought that those corner pieces, by adding those together, it would put more clamping pressure on the workpiece. I'm not really sure if that's true. Maybe there's somebody out there who knows a lot about physics that can answer that question for me. But uh, it seemed to work pretty well. I also used the ratchet straps to glue up the top of my Lego table, but this time I didn't use corner pieces. This actually seemed to work better for this application. I really don't think that using the corner pieces would have worked at all here. All in all, the ratchet strap works pretty well. Uh, with those corner pieces, I think it gave me the kind of pressure that I needed, and gluing up the top, I think it put a lot of pressure there. Um, and if I were to do it again, I'd do it slightly differently. For the corner pieces, I think I would use a much stronger wood. I used poplar and that just really wasn't strong enough. Maybe like an oak or, or something else like that would be a better wood to use. But all in all, I think it worked pretty well. But you know, I do a lot of DIY stuff and what I've noticed and what I've learned is that uh, a lot of it is about ingenuity. A lot of it is about coming up with solutions for problems that you're presented with and, and working with the tools and materials you have. Uh, if I had a million clamps, it would never be a problem, but I don't. And so I work with what I have um, and then you know you do the best you can. I don't let you know, a lack of clamps, for example, hold me back from creating a project that's what I want to make. So if there's any lesson you can learn from this video, that's it. Use the tools that you have, don't let a lack of a certain tool or the perfect tool hold you back from creating something amazing. So thanks again for watching. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, follow me on Instagram, leave me a comment if you have any questions, and we'll see you in the next video.